What is NFT Understand the Non-Fungible Tokens? Hello everybody, welcome back to this video. This is Awaka from Learn to Code. In today's video, we talk about non-fungible tokens. In short, NFTs. So, in this video, you will expect to understand what is NFT stands for, what is the difference between fungible and non-fungibility, what is the main difference between fungible tokens and non-fungible tokens with examples and also you will understand the main properties of non-fungible tokens and use cases okay by the way if you are new to my channel my name is awaka from learn to code in this youtube channel i will upload different programming tutorials every week like machine learning tutorials computer vision blockchain deep learning web scrapping data visualization web automation and many more programming tutorials so if you wanted to get those contents from me, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get the notification when I upload a new video. Okay, when we come to this video, we can start this question, what is NFT stands for? Okay, when we come to this word, NFT, NFT is an abbreviation that stands for non-fungible tokens. So. We say NFT is in short, that means we talk about non-fungible tokens. Okay, now to understand what is non-fungible tokens means, you can need to see fungibility and non-fungibility of token. Okay, now to understand what is non-fungible tokens mean, you need to see the difference between fungibility and non-fungibility of tokens. So, now we will see what is fungibility and non-fungibility means by differentiating the two words. Okay, when we see the word fungibility itself, fungibility means goods that are replaceable by another identical item or mutually interchangeable. Any type of goods which can be replaceable by one another identical item or it is mutually interchangeable, that good is called fungible. So when we see the word fungibility is a synonym word with exchangeable, substitutable, convertible or interchangeable. Those words describe the fungibility of goods. So any goods which is exchangeable or substitutable or convertible that is fungible. Like that, in other direction, non-fungible is the opposite of this definition. That means goods that are not replaceable by another identical item or mutually not interchangeable with each other, they are non-fungibles. Okay, for more understanding of the difference between fungible and non-fungible, I will give an example for both of them. For example, you lend $10 note for your friend and after he uses it, he may return another day with another $10 note. Or he may return two $5 notes or he may return 10 $1 notes. As you see, this $10 note is equivalent with another $10 note or two $5 notes or 10 $1 notes. So this $10 note is fungible. That means it replaceable by another identical item or mutually interchangeable. And this $10 note is interchangeable with another $10 note or it is interchangeable with two $5 notes or it is interchangeable with 10 one dollar notes that is dollar is fungible that means this dollar is fungible okay i think now you get some concepts about what is fungibility means now we see the example of non-fungibility there are so many examples we can see for non-fungibility like the concert tickets paintings and many more when you see the concert tickets for the front row ticket at the concert is much more valuable than the back row ticket. As we know, the front row ticket in the concert is not identical with the back row ticket, or you can't interchangeable the two tickets. So the concert ticket is an example for non-fungibility. So the concert ticket is non-fungible. Okay, now I believe that you get some hints about what is fungible and non-fungibility means. Next, we will see what is tokens means? To understand what are non-fungible tokens means, we understand first this, what is tokens means also. So, what are non-fungible tokens? In the above, we talk about 
what is fungible and what are non-fungibility means. And we also see examples for both of them to understand the concepts of the fungible and non-fungibility. Now in this section, we talk about what are non-fungible tokens and what differs from fungible tokens. Okay. When we see the word non-fungible tokens, we can divide it into two parts for more understanding of this concept. The first part is non-fungible and the second part is tokens. As you know, in the previous section, we talk about what is non-fungibility means and we will see also the ticket, the concert ticket as an example. Now in this section, we see what are tokens means. We will see this word in detail and you can understand easily what are non-fungible tokens fully. If you understand what is tokens means and what are non-fungibility means, you can understand non-fungible tokens easily. Okay, what are tokens? You may ask this question, what are really tokens means? Okay, when we see the word tokens, tokens are smart contracts that could represent anything from tangible assets like real status or any digital assets to non-tangible assets. So tokens are smart contracts and they represent tangible or non-tangible assets. And also tokens can be fungible or non-fungible. So any token which can be traded is fungible token. And if the token cannot be traded, the token is non-fungible. For that, when we talk about NFTs, we talk about tokens which cannot be traded or cannot be replaceable by another token. So now I will generalize this concept. NFTs are extremely powerful types of tokens that allows for the flexible way to represent the digital assets or real assets on the blockchain. And those tokens cannot be traded. Okay, I think you get some concepts about what are non-fungible tokens means. In the next part, we will talk about what are the main properties of NFTs or non-fungible tokens. That means we will see in detail about the properties of non-fungible token, what are the most common properties NFTs have. What are the most common properties NFTs have? Okay, the first and most common properties of non-fungible tokens are they are indivisible. That means NFTs cannot be transacted as a fraction of a whole. Just like how one cannot purchase half of the concert ticket or trading cards, non-fungible tokens cannot be split into smaller denominations. So, indivisibility of non-fungible tokens or NFTs is one of their property. Okay, when we move to the next property of non-fungible tokens, which is rarity. Non-fungible tokens are rare. For non-fungible tokens to be attractive for the buyers, their rarity property is important. They should be probably scarce. This will ensure that assets remain desirable in the long run and that supply does not outstrap demand. So non-fungible tokens are rare. Okay, the next property of non-fungible token is NFTs are unique. This is another property of NFT. Non-fungible tokens contain within their code information that describes the properties of each token that make them different from others. A piece of digital art may have a code information about individual pixels. So non-fungible tokens are unique. Okay, the next property of NFTs are they are traceable. Each NFT has record of those transactions on the chain from when it was created, including every time it changes hands. This means each token can be verifiable authentically and not counterfeit. For that, you can trace NFTs. Okay, those are the main properties of non-fungible tokens, which differs from another types of tokens. So, this is a small introduction about NFTs. I think you get some concepts from this video. If you have any question, feel free to put in the comment section and I will answer as soon as possible. Thanks for your time. I will see you in the next video. Thanks again.